Welcome to God Likes Porn. I am Ben the Demon, and let's talk about women's rights, or as women call them, rights. Feminism has been going through a particularly rough patch under the rule of Donald Trump. A man so rapey, people roofie themselves just to forget he exists. A man who, and I gotta get into this real quick before we talk about women's rights. A man who actually bragged that he got higher ratings than 9-11. Cause if there's one thing I remember about 9-11, it's the ratings. You know what they say, if you're not popular on TV, the terrorists have won. I bet Al-Qaeda's just like, damn you Donald Trump, we really, we really thought we nailed the 18 to 49 demographic, but you got us, you. We, we've been suicide bombing in the ratings. Uh, okay, so going back to what I was talking about, it's a bad time for women's rights. Well, the, the entire history of Earth is a bad time for women's rights. But as such, we need organizations to stand up for and protect these rights. What about the United Nations? An international organization in which 193 countries shed their differences, come together as one, and do nothing. Seriously, the UN has less power than my iPhone right now. I always forget to charge it before I sleep. But the UN does have a women's rights commission. Sounds promising. And someone new just joined. Who, who, who is it? Who, who is it? Who, who, who? The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has been elected to a four-year term on the United Nations Commission on, wait for it now, the status of women. Huh? Great, another four-year term given to a sexist autocrat. What the shit-stained fuck, United Nations? If you look up the word sexism on the dictionary, it, it literally says Saudi Arabia is pretty good at it. This is a country which doesn't allow women to drive. Women need the permission of a male guardian to travel to work, to attend higher education, or to marry. One reaction to this news was this quote from the UN Watch executive director saying, Electing Saudi Arabia to protect women's rights is like making an arsonist into the town fire chief. Yes. It's like if the American Jewish community was run by Hitler, or if the Congressional Black Caucus was run by Hitler. It's like if a climate change denialist ran the EPA. You know, that, that would just be, um... um reality. Now, it's not like every country in the commission is 100% not sexist. No, all of them are at least somewhat sexist. Especially like, they had fucking Egypt and Iran. It's like, what? How low are your standards? At that point, just like, give Casey Affleck an award. But Saudi Arabia, come on, man, that, that's some next level shit. Saudi Arabia treats women so badly, it even rapes Mother Earth. But I guess that's the kind of dignity you should expect from an organization whose acronym matches the North Korean dictator's last name. Here's my thing. The United Nations is so fucking important. And I don't have the solution to all this, because I'm usually just, just fucking, you know, the masturbating. But there's a problem here, a, a lack of accountability. I mean, UN peacekeepers in Haiti were running a child sex ring. That, that's the, the, the exact opposite of my image of what they do. It's like seeing Gandhi at Taco Bell. Like, like what? Like, you do that? So my ultimate fluffy, spineless message to the UN is get your shit together. Because for real, this headline, it looks like it came from the onion. 